Happy spring, friends. I don't know about you, but I'm hoping for a swift thaw. Or at bare minimum a break from the snow. But, as the great purple one warned us, Sometimes it snows in April. Thanks for the reminder, Prince. We miss you. Our theme for the month of March is vulnerability. And this seasonal uncertainty is a reminder of the natural vulnerability of our existence. Last month we looked at love from an esoteric perspective. Today I'd like to explore our deep-rooted vulnerability again from a perspective that most secular humanists are understandably wary of. So, if you're willing to be vulnerable with me, let's take a look at Original Sin. Now, before we begin, let me be the first to say that the common Christian interpretation of Original Sin is deeply problematic. The notion that we are naturally sinful, doomed creatures, always at the mercy of Satan's evil whim. Well, that to me is a pretty damaging concept. However, if we look at the original Greek translation of the New Testament, there are in fact a variety of words that have been translated into English as sin. So, clearly there is not a simple definition for this idea. But, the most common Greek word that has been translated to sin is amartia. The most accurate translation we have for what this word means is to miss the mark, or to err. This, I think, is a more generous and potentially valuable way of thinking about human nature. As I discussed last month in my talk about love, it is a basic truth of human existence that one can only ever have direct access to one's own personal, subjective experience of the world. No matter how hard we strive to discover an objective truth, this process toward discovery is always filtered through the personal and subjective. This fact makes us prone to miss the mark, to reduce the grand complexity of existence to relatively simplistic subjective explanations. Now, does this mean humanity is doomed? Heck no! But it is a good reminder of your vulnerability as individuals. It reminds you that if you are ever to know the fullness of reality, it is something that has to be done together, collectively. And not just within the human community, but the entire terrestrial community. You can't leave me out of the mix, by golly. Even though I am a long con ancient ancestor. <laughs> Where would you be if I didn't drag myself out of the turbulent sea, huh? But, but then again, maybe I missed the mark somewhere along the way. Maybe I should have stayed amphibious. Did I err? Oh no! Uh, no, 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 no. Stop it, Tick. You can't get lost in a dark void of what if. Like me, you just gotta accept that you will miss the mark and allow yourself to be vulnerable. To listen to others and to strive to make the best choices you can together as a community. So, happy spring, everyone. Ooh, look! An apple! <laughs> My lucky day!